Welcome back to a new video guys. Today we're going to be doing almost like an agility guide. It's just a video saying is agility really worth training? Now this is a skill in RuneScape that a lot of players hate including me. Now it, I don't necessarily hate it but it is a very long skill to train and it's very very repetitive. You're doing the same course over and over again for hours on end to sometimes even get one or two levels which you know that's kind of time consuming just for what you're doing you know you come on the game to have fun and you're doing something that pretty much most people hate. What we're going to be talking today is, is it really worth training? Now, this isn't necessarily all the way to 99, but I am going to talk about that. Now, myself, I haven't even got 99 agility, and I don't even know if I will ever get it, unless I plan to max at one point. That is a long way away, though. But to start with, we're going to talk about weight. Now, weight is obviously the main thing that is to do with uh, restoring run energy in RuneScape, other than agility skill itself. But we're going to start off just by a simple thing. This is one thing that not many people know, but... As you guys already know, you have a weight level in this game, depending on what you're wearing, what you have in your inventory, and all stuff like that. Now, most people already know that noted items do not weigh, so that isn't an issue. But what a lot of people don't know is you actually weigh the same amount technically if you are minus, let's say, 20 than if you were 0 kilograms. Now, you will get no extra bonus for uh, in being in the negative weight, than if you're on zero, just like I said. So people sit there and they wear their full graceful and they're sitting there weighing minus 25 and they've got an empty inventory. Now, if they just wore nothing, there'd be zero kilograms, it'd be exactly the same. They just wouldn't get the graceful effect. Now, obviously, when you've got stuff in your inventory, graceful and other weight-reducing clothing is going to put you below zero. That's the idea of it. So you can carry stuff as well as, you know, run for a long time. But that's just something I'm going to start with. A lot of players do not know that. But it is a really handy thing to know that you don't actually need to be in the negatives uh, as much as possible to be able to run uh, for longer times. Now we're going to get into the weight reducing clothing. Now the first thing we're going to talk about is graceful. Now this is obviously a huge thing when it comes to agility. Now if you guys don't already know, you get this by getting 260 marks of grace with the... Uh, rooftop agility courses within RuneScape. Now, you can actually get this before you reach level 60 agility, but you pretty much have to camp at Canifis course for a long time, and it is very time consuming, but you do get the Graceful set, which in my opinion is probably one of the best sets in the game, which isn't a combat set. Now, another thing is the Graceful set, in theory, is worth around 2.2 million GP, because in 260 marks of Grace, you can get... 2,600 2, amylase crystals which currently sells on the GE for about 2.2 mil. Now obviously the graceful set altogether it gives you minus 25 kilograms which is a huge amount but the best part about it is the 30% faster restore for your run when you are not running or you are busy. Now busy means maybe if you're in a bank, if you're trading and also if you're doing agility you jump across obstacles and you're busy whilst you're jumping across them. So you may restore one extra uh, run energy whilst doing an obstacle than if you didn't have graceful. Now that can be very handy whilst doing agility because in some courses there's a bit of running, for example, Sears, if you haven't got the hard candor in diary. So you do run out of energy slowly and that could help in the long run to make you use less staminas or less energy parts. Now the next thing we're going to talk about is a lot of the items that are in the game that aren't a set but they reduce your weight. Now, these items, all of them are actually better than the counterparts of Graceful alone, but obviously you don't get the Graceful effect. Now, the first one we're going to talk about are Boots of Lightness. Now, these are the easiest thing to obtain in the game for a weight reduction item, in my opinion, and they give you a minus 4.5 kilogram weight reduction, and all you need is a light source and a knife. That's, re you know, anyone can get that. Even if you're an Iron Man, you can get that. And you can simply light the candle, you go down in Temple of Ikov Dungeon, I'll put a picture on the screen now of where the dungeon is on the map. Most people already know it, and you can simply get yourself a pair of boots of lightness. Now, you can get multiple, so if you lose them, you can go back and get them, or you can just stack them up in your bank. But this is a very nice item to have uh, whilst you don't have Graceful. If you're working towards Graceful, definitely get these beforehand, because they will help with just everything you do. Now, next thing we're going to talk about are the Spotted and Spottier Capes. Now, these do require 40 and 66 Hunter depending on which one you want. The spotted cape is the lower one and the spotted cape is the higher, but the spotted cape does reduce it by 2.2 kilograms 
and the spotted cape is 4.5 kilograms. Now the spotted cape isn't as good as the graceful cape, but the spottier is. So if you guys have got either 66 hunter or 40 and you haven't got a graceful cape, definitely get one of these because it'll really help when you're questing and just doing agility and everything in general in RuneScape. Now, the last item which is weight reducing that we're actually going to talk about is the penance gloves. Now, the penance gloves, not many people are going to have, honestly, because most people hate Barbarian Assault and they normally just go there to get their torso and they disappear. Now, the unique thing about these is they do actually have a 40 defense requirement, so pures won't be able to use these at all. So, for pures, it would be graceful and that's literally it. Graceful gloves are the only other gloves in the game that reduce your weight. But they cost 150 penance points, which, you know, that's that's a fair amount just for a pair of gloves that reduce your weight by 4.5 kilos. But if you guys really don't want to get graceful and you've got enough points to get these, then feel free to get them because they will help. Now, the last weight reducing item technically that I'm talking about is the agility cape. Now, I don't class this with all the others. I say penance gloves are the last ones because agility cape, you do need 99 agility. And if you're watching this video and you've got the agility cape, then I'm not really sure why you're watching it because this is, is agility worth training. You should probably know that by now. But I will go over the perks of the agility cape. It does give you a permanent plus one to agility, which I suppose is kind of nice. And it is a substitute for the graceful cape. It does count as a graceful cape, which is the same as a max cape. But if you've got a max cape and you're watching this video, I'm kind of confused, to be honest with you. And another perk is you never fail Brimhaven course, which to me, I think that's pretty much useless. And one perk, which is kind of nice, I guess, is once per day, you can restore your energy by 100%. But the Explorer's Ring is pretty much a better version of that, in my opinion. Now that's pretty much all the weight reducing clothing in the game. I'm now going to talk about something which a lot of people don't really know about and it's just the stats within agility itself. Now we're going to talk about how much run you restore per agility level compared to the one below and whatnot. Now I'm going to bring a little table up on screen which pretty much explains it all. But agility, these are, as you can see, it's from level 1 and then it goes through the 10s all the way up to 99. Now you can see how much you restore per minute here. Now from one agility, you restore 8% per minute, which is a terrible amount. So you'll be sitting there in 10 minutes, you only get 80% of your run. You haven't even got your full run back for standing still for 10 minutes or just walking for 10 minutes. Now that, that's kind of crazy. That is honestly ridiculous in my opinion. But if you go all the way to 99, you're going to get it in just, just under or just over, sorry, four minutes, which is crazy. Four minutes instead of like 10 at the start. That You know, that's a lot. But obviously getting to 99 is just a complete another question like that takes a long long time now a lot of people seem to go to around about 70 because that unlocks a lot of shortcuts in the game now at 70 agility you will get 19 percent of your energy restored per minute which is very very nice now obviously there's items in the game like energy potions stamina potions uh summer pies which do restore energy but i'm not really going to talk about those in this video because it doesn't matter what agility level you are you can use those but one big thing is stamina pots do make you restore your energy uh, a bit 20% fa faster and it uses less energy, I believe. I believe that's the status of it. But like I said, this isn't what the video is about. Now, the last thing that I'm going to talk about is obviously agility unlock shortcuts. That's the only way you're going to unlock shortcuts in the game. You need some, some you need, for example, range or strength as well. But agility unlocks a lot of shortcuts around the map, which makes the game very, very... Uh, makes it a lot more easier in my opinion you've got a lot more uh, accessibility you can get around places quicker there's shortcuts which can really really reduce your time in doing things quests especially i personally think that agility should be one of the first things you really try to train because it makes everything else in the game that bit easier and one thing that's also nice about agility in my opinion is you can also do things like magic you can high elk whilst doing the course this is what i've been doing the whole time in the background now it does honestly it makes agility that bit less boring i think because you're also focused on alkin and you're getting that nice nice magic experience you can also do magic imbue there's quite a few things you can do whilst training agility but magic is the most well-known thing to train whilst doing agility and that's two birds with one stone so all in all, what I'm basically trying to say, guys, is agility is very, very worth training. I think it is probably one of the most valuable skills in the game, which aren't combat stats. It just allows you to do a lot more in the game, and it really helps you with every other aspect 
in RuneScape. Now that's pretty much everything for this video guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. If you've got any questions or just anything to say, that's what the comment section is for. And obviously, if you want to see more content from my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.